In January 2008, two groups of trainees were put into traumatic stories with what appeared to be real-life wounds that allowed them to sharpen their expertise on assessing bullet entry and exit points. As far as simulator-based training, it was pretty good and pretty just well-trained and very authentic. The easy-to-apply wounds were indistinguishable from reality combined with real-life family situations and behaviors that came together to push the envelope of what medical simulation can be. We're plugged into what appears to be a real-life trauma center. I think it was realistic. This next-generation injury creation science, combined with the improvisational ability of interactors, allowed them to experience what it's like when everything goes wrong at once. Not enough room for you in the elevator. What we're trying to do is detach ourselves emotionally from the situation and try and be objective as we can. And then there, there does come a time later where we're, we need to meet with the family, discuss things, recognize that emotional aspect. Of it. We called the surgeon down here and he's worried that there might be some serious injuries based on what we've been able to see. Oh my god! She's on the OR, it's exactly what needs to happen right now, okay? This is a potential real-life situation, one that I don't think any of us have encountered before. All right, two years, let's get two million riding on her. The other thing, the monitor says that there was too much action ahead of time. Okay? Oh, my God. Take your clothes off. Do you have seen them before? They were authentic in appearance. Combat medics are going to be applying this to their other combat medic colleagues. I think it's much more interesting and put you on your toes a little bit more when you have somebody that's interacting and uh, sit back and say, yeah, this isn't real for you. You don't know what real is. You've never been in practice. I'll tell you, my heart rate, and I knew what was happening, and I'm running it, and I hear this lady scream, my daughter's been shot, she's been shot, my heart rate goes up. The wounds are great, um, but having the person screaming, not so much from a beneficial view, I think me as a uh, educator. It's definitely a realistic scenario. Mm -hmm. Before I would take an emergency medicine job in a situation like that, it's always responsible to know the environment that you are working in.